Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, that's right, you read the title correctly, we are going to be showing you guys Halo 1 running on a PS4. And yes, by PS4, I actually do mean the PlayStation 4. So, as you guys probably remember, like, way back in the day, there were, like, a lot of fake videos going around, especially, like, when Halo 3 first came out. Uh, you know, fake videos, prank videos, or, like, Rickroll videos showing about, like, Halo 3 on a PS3. And, you know, since then, there's been so many fake videos out there. But now, we are actually running Halo 1, for real, on a PlayStation 4. So how is this possible? Well, as you can see, this is no ordinary PS4. This is actually a modded PS4, one that's been modded to be able to run Linux as well. And right now, we are actually going to boot up Linux. So before I get further into this, I do want to thank my friend Durf, who um, recorded this whole thing for me, actually. So basically, you need a very specific PS4 to be able to mod it, and I don't have such a PS4. Uh, only like the older PS4s are able to be modded and of those older PS4s only certain ones that have not been upgraded or updated to the latest firmware or past a certain firmware version can be modded. So basically a moddable PS4 is eh, somewhat rare because you know if, if you had one of the older PS4s you would have had to basically never update it past a certain point and I don't think too many people have never updated their PS4 past a certain point. So that's why modded PS4s or moddable PS4s are somewhat rare, because the newer ones currently cannot be modded, so basically I don't have a PS4 that could be modded. But my friend Durf did, and he was kind enough to help me um, to film all this for me and set it up and everything. So uh, everyone give Durf a big uh, round of applause and you know shout out to uh, him for getting everything working. But anyways, as you can see on the PS4, we have now booted up into Linux, a special version of Linux just for the PS4. And with that, well, anyone who uses Linux knows that it's very possible to run Windows apps and games on Linux using uh, certain software such as Wine and uh, Play on Linux, I believe, that the other tool is that we use for this. Uh, but basically, Wine is a uh, tool that lets you run Windows programs on Linux. So... You know, Halo 1, having a PC version of it, is a Windows program, and that's why we were able to run Halo 1 on Linux on PS4. So now, you are seeing Halo Combat Evolved, or more specifically the Halo PC demo, running on Halo, running on the PS4, through Linux, of course. And as you can see, it runs pretty well, actually. It, um... It can be a little choppy a few times, there might be like a few frame drops here and there, but overall performance was pretty great. And it's, you know, I'm just like, in general I'm just pretty amazed that we can even run Halo on the PS4. Because like I said, back in the day there were a lot of fake videos about running Halo on PlayStation. And, you know, there were like rumors, pretty much with every Halo game there are always rumors that Microsoft and later 343 was going to bring Halo to the PlayStation or even Nintendo Switch, but you know that's never happened. And I'm guessing like some, a lot of those rumors or pretty much all of them were fake or uh, something like that, because you know, like I said, it's never happened before. And the only pretty much every Halo on PlayStation or some other console videos are pretty much fake. Now, of course, running Halo on PC, there were two Halo games for PC: Halo One and Two, and you know, technically three Halo games if you want to count Halo Online. Or if you want to count MCC, which uh, is coming out soon for PC. So, for the most part, Halo has always been an Xbox exclusive, with the exception of a few PC games, and soon with uh, the exception of MCC as well. So, pretty much Halo 5, the Halo 5 campaign at least, will be the only exclusive, Xbox exclusive Halo game uh, soon. But, anyways, um, as for the original Halo games like Halo 3, 4, Reach, and so on that were exclusive to the Xbox, it was possible somewhat recently to run them on the PC thanks to the Xenia emulator, which has made a lot of great process progress recently, I might add. But up until now, running Halo on other consoles, like a full Halo game, has pretty much been impossible or extremely difficult. 
you know, it's always been like a pipe dream. But now you can actually play Halo on the PlayStation. So, right now, hopefully I've showed enough footage, but I'm, you know, I'll be showing even more footage just to prove to you it's not fake. Because if I showed like a very short video with only a little bit of footage, you know, a lot of people are going to say it's fake. I, I would say it's fake too if it was somebody else that did the footage because, you know, because of all those fake videos way back in the day of Halo running on PlayStation or something like that, all those prank videos, we've all basically been conditioned to basically assume that anytime you see like a video title that says Halo on, you know, X console, especially like Halo on PlayStation, which is, you know, the biggest main competitor to the Xbox, we've been conditioned to think it's fake automatically and, you know, kind of just ignore it or write it off. So yeah, I can definitely assure you that this is legit and not fake or anything. But anyways, running Halo, Halo 1 on the PS4 is not without its issues either. Uh, as you might be able to hear, there are some like audio issues, it can be a little choppy sometimes, and every now and then the frame rate does drop. So, I'm not exactly sure why that happens, it could be for a number of reasons, like, you know, uh, it could be the recording, or it could be the fact that like, Linux on a PS4 is kind of like not entirely stable, or not well optimized, or the Wine emulator, or something like that. Uh, it could be a number of reasons. But overall, I'm pretty impressed that it runs as well as it does. Uh, you know, it's definitely a pretty cool thing to see. Alrighty, so for the rest of this video, I'll let you guys watch a little bit of the cutscene and gameplay without uh, any narration. So uh, enjoy, and I'll be back after uh, the cutscene is over. The Halo demo. Not bad, soldier. Not bad at all. But are you ready to take the next step? In the full version of Halo, you'll find additional vehicles like tanks, plasma turrets, and aircraft. Powerful new human and alien weapons. A single player campaign spanning 10 massive indoor and outdoor environments. And support for intense multiplayer battles with up to 16 of your friends. Or enemies. All that wrapped up in an epic sci-fi story that's so freaky. Whoa! It makes me shake just thinking about it. Halo, combat evolve. Buy one, pick buy two. That's an order, soldier. Alrighty, so there you guys have it. That is Halo 1 running on the PS4. And once again, I do want to thank my friend Durf for recording all this footage for me. Um, it's definitely much appreciated and did a great job getting everything set up to run Halo on a PS4. But, uh, but yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments. If you want to see more Halo games run on the PS4 or other platforms, just let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely do my best to get around to it soon. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.